So how do we add subtitles quickly to a video in Premiere Pro and make it an option in Vimeo? Here's a video, we need subtitles on it. Well, you could simply put lots of titles along there, but it will take you all day. Here's the quick way. First of all, if that's your finished video, you export it as an audio file. An MP3 would be fine. So file, export, and forget the picture, we don't need any of that. In fact, you don't even need to make it a waveform audio. There is an MP3 option. One to eight kilobytes will be fine as well. So we've got an MP3. Now we go to a website like Go Transcript or Happy Scribe, and that's where we are now, and I'm going to upload a new file. For pennies, you can have the subtitles all done for you. If you've got good quality sound recorded, the robot will do the job very well and you'll get good quality subtitles. So we don't want transcription, that gives you a Word document. You want subtitles where we want SRT files. So that's my language, because I'm in the United Kingdom, you know, and we're going to find that MP3 we've just made. And it's uploading and we simply submit it and the Happy Scribe machine is listening to that MP3 and cleverly making the subtitles in exactly the place it heard it on the video. So it now says it's done, and so we'll open it up and see what we've got. And there we are. There are all the subtitles on the left-hand side with the time codes. It's all been worked out. Now, you need to go through here and just make sure it has listened to it properly because it could be it needs a bit of checking. And it's easier, actually, to check it here in Happy Scribe than it is in Premiere Pro. I'll show you why in a minute. But you can do both. So we've checked it, and now we download the SRT file. Here we go. There's a choice of lots of things here, but we just want simple SRT files that we can put into Premiere Pro. Forget the Premiere Pro markers. This works better with SRT. We download it. So does this SRT file go directly to Vimeo? No, it doesn't, because it probably won't be synced up. I'll show you why in a second. So back in Premiere Pro, we just import the SRT file that we've got from Happy Scribe. There we go, and now we drag it on top, and oh, it doesn't fit. You see, that's why you can't put it straight into Vimeo. It's because this particular video has got some music at the beginning. So you can see the sound waves there starts there. So you've really just got to match it up. But that's the only thing you have to do. Let's have, check it works. Welcome to this learning module, which we've... OK, that's fine. And then here we highlight the SRT file. And then an effect controls up there. We can bring it down, we can bring it up, we can bring it to the side, do whatever you want. I'm actually going to just bring it down to the bottom and make it a little bit bigger and bring it up a bit. And the opacity, get rid of the stopwatch and bring it down a little bit, just makes it nicer at about 89, 90%. And then the rest of it will be fine. If you did want to do any editing of the subtitles in Premiere Pro, you double click the SRT file and it all opens up here. And then if you wanted that particular one to change there, you double click it, it would highlight here. And then you make your changes. And as soon as you make a change there, it changes here on the subtitles as well. You can also hear using the color picker, uh, change the color of the letters and the background if you wanted to. Once we've done any changes with the color, the size, and any other spelling errors or things like that, we now export just the SRT file and make sure, obviously, the work bar is in the same position so that this will be in sync with the video when we put it into Vimeo. So what do we do? Well, we highlight this and we export it. File, export. Oh, but hang on a second. Captions is grayed out. Well, why is that? What you've got to do is to highlight the SRT and reveal it in project. So right click, reveal in project. There it is. Now with that lit up, then you can go file, export, captions. And then you've got a choice. There's SRT and some other thing which you don't have to worry about. SRT is fine. So we go OK and we'll call this fixed. So here's that exact same video without subtitles in Vimeo. So where's subtitles here? Hmm, difficult to find. I'll tell you where it is, under Distribution. And then you scroll down in Distribution, and then you find, ah, oh, there we are, Subtitles. Yes, thanks, Vimeo. Uh, it's very obvious, isn't it? Select the language, first of all, because the punter, when they watch the video, have got to choose their language. And you can put multiple subtitles on if you wanted to. This is United Kingdom. Select the type, 
captions or subtitles, it's subtitles, although to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Choose file, choose file, fixed. And there we go. But it still won't work until you've switched it on. Yes, it's not obvious, is it? You'd think it would say on or switch on here. So you click that little slider there. And if you, by the way, if you wanted to change it, you click those three dots there to replace, delete, download the file or whatever, um, and then save it. And then that's it. So if you go onto the actual Vimeo file that the user will see, they have CC there. So they would click CC, I want United Kingdom subtitles. And then if we just play it halfway through or whatever. Fatigue. The most obvious sign is a reduction in... And we have the subtitles, and if they wanted them switched off, they would simply go there again and go to none, and they would switch off. What I've just shown you is a similar technique in other software programs and video platforms as well. If you want to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, check out the very comprehensive course I've put together at voiceovermasterclass.com. Thank you for watching.